Hey guys, it's me again Nilima from About Technology. Today in this short video, we will talk about TCP that is Transmission Control Protocol and why is it a reliable protocol. So let's get started. The video covers the following topics. Concept of transport layer, TCP and its working, merits of transmission control protocol and demerits of transmission control protocol. When data is traveled across the internet, it doesn't exist in same format and changes its forms for the proper routing so that the data could reach at the correct destination. For doing this well, the protocol used are TCP and UDP. Transmission Control Protocol and User Datagram Protocol. Here we will first understand what is a Transmission Control Protocol. TCP is a Transport Layer Protocol. It is a reliable protocol because it provides flow and error control mechanisms. It also uses an acknowledgement mechanism to check the safe and sound arrival of data. That is the receiver always sends either a positive or negative acknowledgement about the data packet to the sender. So that the sender always has a right clue about whether the data packet is reached the destination or it need to resend it. Order of the data is maintained. It ensures that the data reaches intended destination in the same order it was sent. It number and sequence each segment so that the destination TCP protocol can put the segment back into the order the application is intended. It is a connection oriented service because the data exchange can only happen after the connection establishment. And after the data transmission, the connection has to terminate it. It offers full duplex service where data can flow in both directions at the same time. It is a stream oriented protocol which allows the sending process to deliver data as a stream of bytes and allows the receiving process to obtain data as a stream of bytes. TCP creates an environment in which two processes can be connected by the imaginary tube known as virtual circuit that carries a byte across the internet. Now we will discuss what is the need of a transport layer. In layered architecture of network model, one whole network process is divided into small tasks. Each small task is then assigned to a particular layer which works dedicatedly to process the task only. Every layer does only specific work. If the task is initiated by the topmost layer, it is passed on to the layer below it for further processing. There are five layers in TCP IP model that are application layer, transport layer, network layer, data link layer and physical layer. Transport layer has the critical role of providing peer to peer and end to end communication services directly to the application processes running on the different hosts. It creates 65,000 ports on a computer so that multiple applications can run at the same time. The transport layer takes data from upper layer and divide it into small parts and then transfer it to the lower layers. And this job is done with the help of the protocols such as TCP and UDP. In TCP, the connection is established with the help of three-way handshaking protocol where the client initiates the connection and sends the segment with a sequence number. Server acknowledges it back with its own sequence number an acknowledgement of client's segment which is one more than client sequence number. Clients after receiving the acknowledgement of its segment sends an acknowledgement of server's response. For connection termination server and client can se send TCP segment with fin flag set to 1. When the receiving end responds it back by acknowledgement fin that direction of TCP communication is closed and, co and connection is released. Now let's discuss advantage and disadvantage of TCP. TCP provides connection oriented reliable service about which we have discussed in previous slides. It provides flow control using sliding window protocol. It employs error detection with the help of checksum and error control by using protocols such as GoBack N and ARQ. It eliminates the congestion by using multiplicative decrease and slow start technique. The disadvantage of TCP protocol is that it produces large amount of overhead. Each new segment gets its own IP header, so fragmentation by routers increases the total overhead. So guys, this is all for today. We will discuss about UDP and difference between TCP and UDP protocols in the next videos. Please like, review and share the video. Subscribe to our channel 
and don't forget to hit bell icon to get latest updates from our channel.